Hey Pantry, welcome back to another island tour video. Today, I am so excited to share with you this beautiful fairy core island with a hint of cottage core feel throughout. Be prepared to be inspired by the white sandy beaches in the deep magical forest. I had so much fun touring this island, I hope you will as well. But as usual, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m. PST. If you like these videos, make sure to hit that like button so that YouTube knows to recommend it to other people. Subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit that notification bell. Finally, if you want me to tour your island, I have a form in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's head to Blush Island. And we are here, Pantry. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this island that we're going to be touring today. It's uh, called Blush and it's created by a wonderful creator named Francesca. Hey guys, this is Snacks coming to you in post because throughout the duration of this video, I proceeded to butcher Francesca's name. My bad. Okay, carry on now. But uh, she's already here waiting for us, sitting on this little toast stool here. I think, toast stool, I think that's what's called, but uh, she also has some gifts for us. It's always so nice, guys, when you guys give me gifts on these tours. But uh, <laughs> before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at her map here. Like I said, her map is called Blush. And oh my lord, can you see the immaculate terraforming that is on the top part of the map? Houses are all spread apart, and I love being able to explore that. And the way that she terraformed those rivers are so unique, right? I wonder what's going on down there, especially in that little pond area on the left there. Not pond area, but the little area there on the left. But before we jump into it, she has Eric, which is amazing. Diana, oh my lord, Diana is so amazing. I, if you guys didn't know, I passed on Diana twice on my island tour hunt for... Um, for for Judy so <laughs> cherry uh, fauna we have maple we have lolly we have Marshall Marina Mary and Molly oh my gosh she has such an amazing choice of villagers here guys and then of course you have her house there right in the top middle of the map but let's get started here <laughs> welcome to blush island oh my gosh as already you guys can tell how beautiful <laughs> I have some very gifts for you. Oh, she's so sweet. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up these uh, gifts item here. <laughs> and uh, wow, I can just look at that beautiful entrance. I just love love the terraform here, especially with the waterfalls. It looks amazing. So we have here a floral swag. We got here a uh, tulip surprise box. Ooh, whoa. No one's ever given me, like, items before. That's really cool. And then we have here a uh, mush lo... She's so sweet. Mush low stool and a mum cushion. Oh my gosh, no one's ever given me items before. It's always been closed, which I am so grateful for. But items are so unique. Oh my goodness. And as you guys can tell, we have uh, the lily of the valleys here. And again, look at these custom designs on the floor here. I swear, I'm the only one with, like, limited, limited custom design slots, guys. I hope Nintendo gives us more. Oh, my. Just look how inspired this area is. Oh, my. The mushroom lamps. Wow. I'm already inspired pantry. And I love the way she used the terraforming to break up the entrance a little bit and uh, kind of make it feel larger than the way it is, right? I know it's always tough when your resident surfaces is just right in front of that uh in front of that airport but my god look at all these flowers these mushrooms oh they're so good and hi i <laughs> i always forget his name <laughs> this is so neat oh my gosh it is so inspired all those custom design patterns on the ground looks amazing i'll definitely be sure to post them at the bottom of the description for you guys and here we have arrived to nook's cranny oh my goodness look how beautiful this is Oh, wow. This is gorgeous, guys. I'm just going to come up here just a little bit just to show you guys what it is over here. I'll go ahead. I won't stray too far from our tour guide, but uh, this looks so amazing. Oh, look at that cute market sign, too. <laughs> Here's Blush Market. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited to see this market pantry. Whoa. Oh, this is so adorable. 
Oh, look at this. Is this the mums pattern? The mums cushion that she gave us? I'm so excited to use that. Oh my gosh, I love the hedges and the bushes. How they're all scattered apart here. I think I can come over here. I'm not entirely too sure. I don't want to stray too far. But oh my goodness, this is so adorable. This is so cute. Oh, that little honeycomb. The honey area. Oh, that's so nice. I love the way she used that pot. That party pot to make it look like there's honey. Possibly dripping out from the uh, the top there. And is this like a baking area with the cotton candy? <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, I love this. I recently just got a KitchenAid mixer pantry and I freaking love it. My wife has been baking amazing, amazing uh, baking items. Oh, this is so nice. Everything is just... I can, I'm already impressed by just the entrance and just the whole grand, uh, grand idea of like this fairy core, uh, vibe to it, right? So I did ask Francesca a couple questions. First question was, tell us a bit about yourself. She said, I am a girly girl that loves everything pink. My whole island was going to be a pink princess island, but I soon changed my mind with that one. My next question was, how much time did you spend on your island? She said, around 500 hours. <laughs> Yikes. My follow-up question was, what is the theme of your island and what was your inspiration? She said, the theme of my island is fairy core with hints of cottage core. On socials, I saw two popular themes and I really liked them both. So I decided to merge them together and see what I could come up with. I like how I'm not restricted to just one or the other. I like the cluttered brown with the natural vibes of the cottage core, but I also love the magical and more vibrant feel to fairy core. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Magical fairy garden, what? Oh, I can, oh my god, the music. Oh, this is such a nice piece too. This pink music box, Lily Pink, I think it's Lily's uh, <laughs> uh, music box here just match matches with the overall aesthetic, right? Oh, and remember this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful purple tulip. Wait, is that a, is that a black tulip bed? <laughs> it's a rose. I call it a tulip in one of my videos, and I'm just so embarrassed by it, guys. And I love this little, um, this lunar crescent chair. It's so nice. I still haven't had the DIY for it yet, but this is so, so cute. Wait, uh, wait, is there, is this a dead end over here? Oh, okay. Ooh, what a nice way to use that, uh, that clam, clam item. Oh, it's a lamp. Ooh, whoops, turn it back on chat. <laughs> and I actually, I've never seen a rose or tulip used this way. This looks so great. Oh, uh, here we are. So we're done with the fairy garden. We're done with the market and we're heading up north here to this Book club. I love the way she uses all the signs to label what these are. This is absolutely pretty. Oh my gosh, Blush's library. Dude, I'm so inspired. I want to change my island to fairy core, cottage core vibes, dude. Oh gosh. And I just love how she uses the magazines to kind of set up the vibe that this is the library, the stack of books, the candle. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Wait, I didn't see what that was. What was that? <laughs> she had to clean up her island before. Ah, oh, diagonal bridges. You know how much I love diagonal bridges, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, Marina. Oh, Marina's so cute. And what is this area we're coming up to? Looks like a little farm. Yes. This farm looks amazing. Hi, Maria. Hi, hun. Oh, can we, can we go past you just for real quick? Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh, look at the scarecrow. Wow, what a nice way to use the watermelons. The, um, I got made fun of this, the caca cacao trees. I'm, please correct me if I'm wrong on that pantry. And the mushrooms and the, those things I always thought always looked like mush, uh, cauliflower. It looks so good. This looks so good. Oh, I'm so at peace right now. Oh my goodness, love more beehives. Dude, is, does Winnie the Pooh live here? Because if this isn't where Winnie the Pooh lives, it's the bee farm, yo! Bum, 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 bum. 
Spider. <laughs> sorry, guys. Bubblegum is just like a bop. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the clothesline too. It really matches with the whole cottage core, fairy core vibe to it. Um, the items that she uses really do fit in that whole aesthetic, right? Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Diana Marshall's here. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of Diana Marshall. By the way, Diana Marshall are really, really amazing villagers by the beach. Oh, how thoughtful. This is so nice. Look at this. I would honestly want to move here. Oh, Marina's just hanging out over here. Oh my gosh. Sunset time is absolutely dead gorgeous pantry. And uh, at this point in the video, please let me know what you like about uh, her tour. And if you haven't subscribed already, why haven't you? The whole backdrop looks amazing. It matches with everything. A pottery stall. Oh, I love pottery. I don't know if you guys have ever done pottery. I did pottery in high school, and it's one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I would love to do it again. And what is? Oh my god, this pottery toy is so cute. <gasps> that kind of looks like a. That looks like a. Not a mudkip. Kind of. No. Uh, gosh, guys, what was it called? I don't remember. I think Jesse and James has it. I don't know. It looks like a mud cap. <laughs> and then we have over here. Oh, I like how she used the custom designs on this wood uh, boardwalk. And here we are romantically sitting on the boardwalk, looking at the wonderful sunset to the east here and playing a sweet romantic melody on the boardwalk, guys. All right. So we're going to go ahead and walk over here. I just love everything about the vibe, the, the theme. Just the feel of everything. I think I've used every word that I can use to describe how this place feels. <laughs> Hi, Marina. Oh, she's so cute. She definitely matches with the whole aesthetic, right? Oh my gosh. This makes me feel like my island is so much different than, than hers. My beach does not look like this. It's insane what people can use with items. Matches your outfit. <laughs> it does. The, the beach towel does mess with match with my outfit. It's so funny. Again, everything here just has a purpose and a place, and I'm really loving it. Francesca is absolutely doing an amazing job here on her island. All right, we're gonna head back here to the mainland. I really wonder what the circle is. I really love what that pattern is on the ground. This is so adorable. And she uses it quite a bit over uh, the whole course of the island. Oh, oh, what a great entrance. This is so neat. Oh, I love that it's diagonal and you kind of see like everything around there and that well. Oh, it's it's so nice. <laughs> almost did. I almost said that pantry. Eric and Fawn's cliff. Oh, wow. And again, when if you remember back at the beginning of the video, her houses, the villager houses, are well-placed everywhere. Oh, whoops. I ended up using it anyways. Oh. <laughs> uh, everything is just so well thought out. I love how different each area for their villagers are. It, it makes it so special, right? <laughs> oh, I just realized she's not wearing shoes. Wow, she is committed. To this fairy core cottage core vibe. Oh man, what amazing terraforming here. This is the top left corner of the map that I was talking about. I was so excited to see what little uh little areas that she would create up here. And this is the campsite pantry. Oh my lord. Oh wow, this is so nice. I would honestly be very happy to to uh, to come here and visit. Because look how great this little area is. You have books, you have music, you have food. Everything you need. Uh, and if you guys didn't know that uh, that saucepan that's on the floor right there, you can change the design on that. So they have like spaghetti, they have noodles of sorts. You can change it to like, I think five different types. It's very cool if you guys didn't know that. Oh man, and I love the campsite sign that's right above here. It's so nice. Well placed. And here we are. We're going to go up. And it looks like we're heading up towards Blathers Museum here. 
I love the jumping puzzle that leads up to his museum. And back here, it's Red's Island, little, the little private beach that all of us have. But just for me, can't create this beautiful magic that everyone seems to create. Oh, this is so cute. Just a simple secret beach. Oh, It's also a nice place to kind of just relax to if the sun decides to set on the northern side of the island, you know? Oh, look at that. Look at that heart right up there. Pantry, it looks so good. Oh, yay. Yes, we get to go over here. Oh, this is so unique. I've seen some jumping puzzles to Blathers or to other places, but look at this gorgeous terraforming. Oh, uh, all right, here we go. We're gonna go down here. Ooh, I think we, we haven't gone up top yet. And so I'm wondering, ooh, I love that sign too. Kind of show people where to go. And um, looks like here we are at the Able Sisters. Oh, wow. What a nice way to use the um, the sewing machine to, uh, to showcase that this is like a clothing area, right? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, and the love, the... The adjacent. I think that's the word I'm thinking of. Uh, waterfall to the right there. Oh, it looks so great. Are you inspired, guys? Like, holy cannoli. I'm I'm about ready to demolish my whole island right now. I don't know how you guys feel. All right, and here we are. We're going to head back up towards Blathers Museum and up that little area that we were talking about just a little bit earlier. Um, looks like there's a little tiny library there to the right as well. Oh man, what a nice... Oh yes, this is what I wanted to do on my Island 2 pantry. A little stargazing area with all these Celeste items. Oh, this is so gorgeous. We toured another island with a similar aesthetic and I've been wanting to use it. I never see my villagers up here. <laughs> Oh no, so sad. Oh, she's uh, she did so much work up here not to see anyone up here. Oh no. And oh wow, what a nice, nice aesthetic back here. You can uh, you can Bob Ross to your heart content back here, pantry. I love to paint here, dude. I would love to paint here too. Just having a secret beachside little painting here, just to have that calmness. And uh, just have some peace, you know, to paint. And who wouldn't want some waterfall ASMR in the background while you do that? Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. I love having the tourist, uh, the tour guide tour, uh, guide us through the island because it just, they just know what, you know, how the island works and uh, what the best way to experience the island is. And it looks like we have arrived here at the top part of her house. Oh, yay! I love her entrance. Gosh, can you imagine waking up every morning just to see this beautiful, beautiful entrance? We can look now or later. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and look now. Let's go ahead and look now. All right. I'm expecting like some fairy core vibe. Oh, it's very cottage core. I mean the 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 Luna Crescent chair uh, gives it off that you know uh, fairy core and also uh, the mushroom items right oh this is so great guys how cozy oh man here we go I didn't forget to turn the camera this time I can wait here while you okay all right I guess we will uh, explore all right we will. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's start up in the north room here. Oh, hi, little puppy. Oh, my God, look at this room. Oh, look at this beautiful rose bed. So gorgeous. That well. Man, okay, I know I shouldn't use the well-placed joke up in here, guys, but they're all well-placed. Like, this is amazing. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the right room here. Uh, I wonder if this is the kitchen or the bathroom. Or... Or just something unique. It's the bathroom, we called it! Oh my gosh. A great way to use the uh, fog, the cloud flooring. It's adorable. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go to the left room here. Oh man, again, I love that Lily music box. It's one of the prettiest items in the game, I feel like. Oh, wow. 
Oh, look at this gorgeous library. It's libraries and fairy core and cottage core. Do they just go together? Because it definitely feels like that. Oh, look at all those tiny libraries, dude. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, this is so cozy. Again, you can sit here, read a book, drink some coffee or tea, whichever you prefer. And, uh, oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love the Sakura Blossom, uh, the Cherry Blossom petal flooring that she used there. Looks really great with the whole aesthetic. And now we're going to go ahead and go upstairs. I feel like the basement is usually the last place people take us to. Alright. Oh, this, so this must be her master bedroom. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love the wood wood uh, walls that she used here. Uh, she has some wedding items that really just fits with the whole cottage core aesthetic as well. Uh, the flowers on the wall. Oh, what's that cute painting up there? And I love the little hat. Oh, you get <laughs> the little nightgown. Oh my goodness. Can you just imagine playing that nightgown and putting on that sleeping hat right there? I love it. That's so adorable. Oh my goodness. This is so cozy. So cozy. I love the way that this shelf is used as well. And also the chimney, which I don't have. I don't. Is that a D DIY pantry? Not sure. Oh man. I love that. That's... This room and the upstairs room is probably my favorite so far. All right, so now we are here downstairs. Oh, the kitchen's downstairs. Oh my gosh, that is, that is different. I understand why you would want it down. Look how big the room is compared to the other rooms. Ooh, I might honestly steal this idea. Oh my goodness, look how cute this little dining table is. Oh. Uh -huh. This is so adorable pantry. Oh gosh. Nice flooring. I love the lattice lattice wallpaper that she used there. Oh gosh. Everything is just so so great. She also has three sinks. <laughs> My stream has made fun of me for having three sinks and two stoves. Uh, get out of here, guys. See, I'm not the only one, okay? If it looks aesthetically pleasing, it's fine. Oh, this is wonderful. She has such a gorgeous home. What a gorgeous home. Did you guys love that? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part there was. Oh my goodness. All right. This is... We are now heading down this diagonal bridge here across from where we started. I wonder... Okay, those little stones over there, those stepping stones, are probably doesn't lead anywhere. It's probably just aesthetic. Man, I am so excited. I'm ready to play Animal Crossing. Oh, what a nice little... Oh, is this like a little sightseeing area? This is so nice. I love it. Again, just all the flowers that are well-placed everywhere. The mushroom items. Oh, hi, Sherry. Hi, Cherry. Cherry, Sherry? Chat, I've never figured out if it's Cherry or Sherry. Oh my goodness. All the wells! This island definitely just uses them so well. And all these signs really look really great. Well, oh my god, okay. I totally thought that those were two cherries for a second there. <laughs> oh, a little hopping puzzle right over here. Oh, right. oh, nice. I like the way that she did that. So she used an item right here to kind of block off from where you can step. Yo, flower gardens, let's go. Oh, this is so cute. The fencing, uh, the scarecrow, uh, the garden flower wagon, one of my favorite items, as I tell you guys. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I noticed that the shovel also has some nice, nice little patterns there, guys. Oh, so cute. So cute. I can't I can't stress out stress enough how this 6 p.m. sunset vibe really uh, really just shines through when we're touring this island. Oh, oh, <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, guys. I'm so dead. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> 
Uh. Oh, who's that cutie back there? The little cat. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna. That's probably the funniest moment on this tour. Oh gosh. Everything is just so great until that moment, right? <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love how everyone has a little little book area in front. Maple's little book area. Oh. Again, I love how she spreads her inclines everywhere on her island. A little little area here. I love those windmill items. I've never seen them before. Oh wow. Oh, this is so adorable. <gasps> it's like a painting. Oh, it's like a painting, uh, painting night. Oh, this is so neat. This is so neat. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to copy this idea. The creativity that goes into this. Every corner, every place has its place. Like I said. How well thought out. I love the spot for Lolly. Oh, I love this too. This is so cute. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go over here back to the main entrance. I hope we're not done. This is so nice. Oh, nice little picnic area here. Oh, some frame drops, but that's okay. Oh, I can't sit here, but that's okay. I will just go ahead and enjoy this area. Oh my goodness, you know what this doubles as? What a nice little fishing area too. The cushions for decor. <laughs> that's probably why I can sit down. Oh, not for use. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous waterfall guys oh man okay that's so cute i have i want to come back here for that that is a photo photogenic area oh look at this outdoor cafe how quaint oh whoa look at that <gasps> that little oh my god that little uh woodland cafe it's gorgeous look at that um gosh what is that word pantry I'm gonna get memed on this by my wife. I just know it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, how cute. Again, what a great way to use the mushroom trees and the lamps. Holy cannoli. <laughs> I love this. Oh, hi, Sherry. Not now for my favorite. Year. Oh. Okay, here we go. I, I, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Oh. <gasps> Oh, wow. Is this... Yes, it's a fairy circle. Look how gorgeous this looks. Beetle, go away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I scared the beetle away. Oh, this is so good. Wow, I've never seen... I've never seen how these... Hydrangea's bushes have been used for fairy circles. I've only seen fairy circles with rocks and the way that they use hydrangeas and the mushrooms and the flowers, the lights, they all just... I'm so angry because this is so amazing. Again, I she's if she says this is simple... <laughs> this is so neat. Wow, I honestly like very subtle. Very subtle, but you have that uh, coconut tree uh, in the background there, and it looks... its I know it's purposely placed there, just to fit the whole aesthetic, right? Oh my gosh, how nice. What a great use of her peninsula. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go down here through the, through the forest. Oh, some more sitting areas down here. Alright. Oh, fruits? Oh, that's such a cute sign. That's such a cute sign. Oh, fruit forest. Oh, what? How? What? Not a fruit orchard, a fruit forest. Oh my god. Francesca, you're just so creative. I know it's just a different name, but it's such a different way to view the orchard that we always see, right? Ah, oh, how neat. I love I just love the way that it's used and the way that it just complements everything that is uh here. I felt an orchard was too. I think she might be saying structure from a exactly. The forest theme works very well with your island. Oh, that's so cute. And this looks like another overgrown beach area. <laughs> 
Smoothie bar. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> of the fruits and oh, the chopping table for the smoothies. I love the way she displayed this hat here. Definitely gives off that vacation uh, beach vibe that you would do. Oh, she's going to pick up the bottle, right? Is she going to pick up the bottle? <laughs> she picked up the bottle. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Hold on. So what's so neat about this, right? You don't hear the... Um, <laughs> she's playing <laughs> she's playing the thing you don't hear the music of the island like the game music because there's a music box so close i don't know if this is purposeful but you guys all you hear right now it's just the sound of the beach finally i did ask francesca is there anything you would like to say to everyone to motivate them to work on their island she said I just think you must be motivated yourself and you can be motivated by looking at inspo. Also taking the time to think about what you like and not what you think others will like. If you're creating something that isn't for you, then you may not be as motivated. You need to pick something that excites and motivates you so that you will have more fun with the game and more excited to see the result. Finally, if you're getting stressed out, just turn off the game. The game is meant to be fun and creative and shouldn't be taken too seriously. To follow more of Francesca's journey, I will be posting her socials in the description down below. Oh, thank you so much, Francesca, for that amazing island tour. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this island tour as much as I did. I had so much fun. Oh my goodness, Pantry. I could not believe I had the opportunity to tour that beautiful island. I hope you were just as inspired as I was to go out there and create. As always, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to hit that notification bell. Also, please join me and our wholesome community over on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m. PST. I will go ahead and leave a link in the description down below. I love you, Pantry, and I'll see you next time.